Today I'm going to show off a great tool for uh, doing quick assessments or just checking if students understand the material. It is uh, done through Google Forms, which is excellent because it integrates very easily with Google Classroom, um, RRISD using Gmail accounts for both teachers and students. It also is very easy to send out results to all students' email addresses. Um, and I'll go through all of that in just a minute. Uh, first off, you would need to create a test or assignment or check for understanding in Google Forms. Thankfully, I already have one here from last year. Uh, so here's my test that I gave students. I do include first and last name because their uh, student IDs um, are not something I've memorized, so that won't identify them and their period just for organization. But here are my questions. Um, I have had this sent out to students already, of course, since it's from last year. What we need to do to grade it now using uh, the app Flubaru, we need to view their responses in the spreadsheet. So in Google Forms, if you're looking at the older view, which I prefer right now, you would click view responses and that would take you to their to the answer spreadsheet. If you are using the newer Google Forms, which would look like this, you could click responses and then this is the spreadsheet of their responses. So either one, you just need to get to their spreadsheet of responses. I already have that open over in this tab. Here are all, all of my students and the responses that they recorded. Please notice that the first one up here is me, Kurt, that's me. Uh, and this is because you will need an answer key to grade with Fluberoo. So you do have to take it once yourself. Let's go ahead and add it because I've deleted the add-on because I want to show you how to get one. So you click up here on add-ons, you click kit add-ons. And here are some of the add-ons Round Rock ISD makes available to us. And there is Fluberoo. If you don't find it, you can always just type it in in the search. I'm gonna hit. Yep, that's great. Allow. Excellent. So now that we've already done this, we've already collected info. I'm going to click add ons, go to Fluberu, and select grade assignment. For this first page, I get to say which are questions that I want graded, how many points for each one, uh, which questions I might want to skip. Like this, it recognizes is the period that identifies the students. It's not going to grade that. Username identifies the students. Um, and then it go ahead and assigns one point to all of the questions it believes are actual content questions. And that's all correct. Excellent. I'm going to hit continue. Please select which submission to be used as an answer key. I will go ahead and select my submission to be used as an answer key. Continue. And here we are. And as you can see, grades are all here. I can look at the percentage, the total points. Here's my points possible, average, counted submissions, so on and so forth. And it's really easy to see how all of my students performed. If you go down, you can see a percentile of performance on each question. Maybe some of my questions were unfair, and I could look into that. Some of the awesome features of Fluberoo is actually being able to email your students your scores. So if I go back up here to my add-ons, Fluberoo, I can do share grades, which is a really handy way to get their grades out to them and get their grades out quickly. When you are sharing grades, it gives you the option to show them a breakdown or not. If you have students who had missed the test that day, you might not want to show them a breakdown of the questions just yet, but you still could shoot their grades out to them. Again, this is a really fast and easy way to get uh, maybe shorter term uh, checks for understanding done. Um, this is actually a somewhat long assessment that we did through it as well. It's a pretty handy tool. Let me know if you have any questions uh, getting started with Fluberoo.